the boy comes home long answer questions how does emily show her warmth and affection towards philip on emily is a kind and affectionate woman and just the opposite of her husband in relation with people philip also shows great affection to her he kisses her and talk to her in soft words she is sympathetic towards his late habits his over sleeping his gay attitude to life she asks her husband to deal softly with him there is great warmth in the relation between philip and aunt emily how does philip defeat miss higgins everybody in the house is afraid of miss higgins the cook mary the parlor maid and aunt emily always repeat the words i don't know what miss higgins will say philip orders for breakfast at 10 o'clock the strict order of anger james is to give breakfast at 8 mary is afraid of miss higgins and cannot bring breakfast without the permission of miss higgins philip takes up the respons- responsibility of dealing with miss higgins when she tells him that breakfast is, is at 8 and the rule cannot be broken he orders her to obey him she gets angry and gives notice to quit service philip makes matters more easy promising to let her leave service on the instant without any notice and writes a check for double the amount of her salary miss higgins is defeated she says that she did not want to resign she would do anything for anybody in the house provided that they speak decently How does James react to Emily's suggestion that Philip fought for them? Aunt Emily asks her husband to deal with her nephew Philip more softly, considering the fact that he had fought for them in the war. Uncle James has not much opinion about the boys' service in the army. Everybody pays as a soldier for their sacrifice. It is a foolish sentiment. Those who remain at home also help the war efforts. James think that he has done many sacrifices. He had sent his nephew to the army. He had suffered much from the shortage of potatoes. He could survive only because his wife made the fortunate discovery that she didn't like potatoes so that he could get her share also. He had also supplied the soldiers jam for their food though it brought him good profit but the excess profit tax was a foolish piece of legislation. yet he paid it whatever was simon he does not want to boast of its size describe the incident in which philip claimed he became 25 philip describes a critical situation in the war friend which made him a man of 25 or 35 or 45 it happened at some their company was in support lying in the most inhospitable trenches The company commander sent a messenger to know whether they could move. The CEO ordered them to hang on. The Germans availed this opportunity to capture the company commander. Philip was the next commander. He sent a messenger to ask whether they could move. The man was captured and killed. He sent a second messenger who also faced the sad end. It was murder to send any more. On his own initiative he moved his men to another trench 500 yards to the right after that he reported to the ceo if he had not acted so wisely and courageously the entire company would have been wiped out it was a bold action that made him 25 after threatening him with the revolver and bomb how does philip finally subdue james uncle james threatens philip to use a force of pestering to subdue him to accept his term philip's father had made him his guardian with the right to hold his money until he became 25 philip takes his revolver and threatens to use it against his uncle james is frightened at the sight of the revolver and asks philip to put it away philip takes a bomb and threatens to use it also uncle james still persists in his demand Philip holds the revolver straight at James and pretend to shoot him. Uncle James submits to his nephew and offers to take orders from him. How do James and Philip settle the matter comfortably? The boy comes home is a comic episode. Part of the action is real and part a dream that comes to Uncle James. Uncle James want to force his nephew Philip to join his business. but he has doubt about the gay young man and is prepared to confront him his wife asks him to deal softly 
He waits for Philip who is taking his breakfast. In the meanwhile, he falls asleep over the newspaper and sees a dream in which Philip threatened to shoot him with his revolver. After a long argument, Philip points the revolver at him. James is frightened. He submits to his nephew. At this point, he wakes up and sees Philip coming out of the kitchen after his breakfast. James is under the effect of the dream and deals with Philip in a gentle and soft way. Philip shows his willingness to join the business. He is prepared to accept any work except that of a soldier. For a jock, he takes up his revolver to frighten the manager of the business firm. James is again frightened, but he says it is a jock and takes his nephew to the office, wondering still whether it was a dream.